Section face direct north. Don't get moving around, just face direct north. Where are you there? Yep. Face direct north, you're doing it as well. Oh, right, cool. Now listen to an entire section doing one round every three seconds. Just do one round, don't do a GPMG. Section. Suppress your fire. Wow, my vision's blowing from that. <laughs> Section, team fire, team fire. Safety's on. Weapons down, safety's on guys, as always. Good, good. Right, that would have been fucking scary to the end of, and you didn't even hear the full extent of it because I told the machine gunner to just use a rifleman's rate of fire for suppressing. So, as you can see, that is going to be a lot of rounds, but at the end of the day, per individual, that's not a huge amount of ammo being wasted. And in this, it should only take literally a minute max depending on what you're doing if you're going to assault, to get them heavily suppressed. There'll be HEs flying out, and uh, basically this is time for the IC to stop pooing himself and to start thinking of an attack plan. Basically, rifles, yeah, one round every three seconds. Machine guns, such as GPMGs, LMGs, a three-round oh, three burst every three seconds. So, if you want to demonstrate that word, it's a... Sure thing. That could be two to three to four rounds, but all dependent on the situation. And uh, yeah, GPMG is fucking scary. Too far, too far. Now imagine we've got the entire section, what was usually about six dudes, as it was here, firing out his rifles. Then imagine we've got two LMGs going fucking batshit. And we're not all doing. Like five rounds a second. Yeah, sometimes five rounds a second is uh, ridiculous. Well, five rounds every seconds. It is rather scary. And I mean, the whole section is putting down about five rounds a second. Yeah, exactly. So um, the enemy is getting pasted with bullets, and if they're not dead, they're literally wishing their buttons weren't in the way so they could get closer to the ground. It is literally the tool you're always going to use. And, for example, if I saw a contact in those trees to our direct north, I didn't know how many there was going to be there, etc. I would call suppressing fire on that target, and the entire area would be pummeled by rounds. And I wouldn't want anyone to stop firing unless myself or Ellis called for it to be stopped or a change of fire rate. It's because you're not going to win any firefight when you stop shooting because you can't see them because they start shooting back again. Now that's the mission. Very, very, very effective. But also, it can be quite consuming at the end of the day if you're not quite sure if the enemy are there. And if you really want to be restrained, you'll use the next one, what is not that common. It's called deliberate fire. Exact same amount of rounds, but the timings change. This is one round every five seconds. Ellis, you want to demonstrate a round every five seconds? See, this is currently, you'll feel like there's a massive gap. And many people rush it, so many people start counting really fast. But it's nice and slow, and you're looking around the contacts, and you're shooting at windows, hoping that there's no one in there, because sometimes you might shoot a civvy, lol. But, um, yep, yeah, this is very, very effective for massive ammo conservation across the section, because you only have limited supplies. We should only be taking about 12 magazines out each and uh, the occasional spare chain link for the uh, LMGs and GPMGs. So good, see fire, see fire. That's very, very good. So basically, you may have suppressed, you may have killed a load of enemy, and you think, ooh, don't want to go and assault yet. Let's see what, this, what their reaction is. So you might start putting it to deliberate. You might be worried about ammo, so you might put it to that as well. And you're basically just giving yourself a bit more quiet time to think for the IC and 2IC. And for you guys, it's a good time to get your head together, because when you're suppressing the noise and stuff, you will pigeonhole quite a lot onto that target. A little bit of fire, a little more room to think. Very, 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 very simple. I won't go through everyone doing it because it's pointless. But remember, so far, suppression, three rounds, wrong. One round every three seconds. Deliberate, one round every five seconds. Next is watch and shoot. He that is. That, I mean, like, even if you can't see the enemy, you still shoot. Keep yeah. up the fire rates. Yeah, that's the whole point. You shouldn't stop shooting until someone tells you to or, to or changes your fire rate. And uh, Usually what happens is you go from suppressing for a while and then you'll do watch and shoot if you think you've killed the enemy because may, they may be in the open field. Watch and shoot is just simply what it is, says on the tin. You watch around for enemy so you don't shoot until you see them and you aim and it's very very very, this is like maybe accurate rounds going off here. Watch and shoot is not for the entire section to be going bang, 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 going batshit, that's for the section to be all taking aim shots and thinking oh it's moving, range, let's get him. It's just if the uh, IC wants you to go fucking 
ball tittingly hard out, he'll call you to put suppressing fire on that one target and everyone will start going crazy trying to kill him. Keep in remember, yes. when you're suppressing, do try and aim for people if you see them. And you can maybe divulge from your uh, fire rates if you think you've got a chance to, to spl slot a guy. But uh, obviously, you want to make up for it and be very careful because there's a reason why you make you de do deliberate and suppressing and watch your shoot. And sometimes we may want to save ammo because we know there could be something nasty coming up. Now, finally, and my favourite, and the least used for good reason, is default auto. Or rapid. Or holy fuck, I'm about to die, as I like to call it. Because the only time we ever, 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 ever use this is when we're, we're use little bursts and stuff when we're going into compounds, but this is ambushes. This is counter ambush, what we'll cover next week. Counter ambush is very simple. I'm walking, oh, I'm walking along, through a wood mostly, or through a valley. Through a lot of foliage, hard to see, and let's say I am here, let's say you're the ambush. That's when you can hear straight away, the enemy are dead on you. So you're going to go, fuck, contact left, full auto go. And you're going to go, uh, uh, and just go batshit and reload and walk at them and fucking spray and just go nuts. You can see how quickly I'm going through magazines, I went through two magazines in that space of time. Very, 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 very rarely used. And to be honest, if you do use it, you're going to shit your pants. It always feels good to shoot Ellis. There we go, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so there's full auto. So, suppressing fire. Used to suppress the enemy, simply put, keep their heads down, high rate of fire, medium ammo, cons uh, medium ammo used. But the predominantly the most used fire rate because it's just the most effective and good balance. Deliberate fire. Very, very, very good ammo conservation, but also uh, still keeps the heads down a little bit, and it's usually good for thinking time, or if you're kind of deliberating about whether to stop firing, or if you think the enemy could be there, but you're not sure, so you don't want to go nuts and nuts and nuts and nuts. Mostly used just so you don't run out of ammo. Watch and shoot. Basically, when you're pretty certain the enemy are dead, but you're not quite sure, or if they're out of range, or if there's literally no firing coming, you can make everyone stop and take their nice, careful early aim shots and watch uh, all their good old marksmanship rifles go to work. Full auto, holy shit, we're about to die, everything out at once. It is, full auto is basically there so you don't die. It's a last ditch resort, everything is, like, there's nothing more important than your own and your section's health. So you just start throwing everything you've got at them in a last ditch attempt to not die. You'll go on full auto and stuff for red entry, but you'll find that's a little burst of fire, and it's slightly different, you'll go through an obua with the green entry and red entry. That's technically not a rate of fire as such. Any questions on rates of fire at all? Good. Ellis, teach us how to now, A, assault a firefight, and let's go through some drills. Copy that. Alright, so basically with flanking assaults, um, let's say for example, blah, 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 fuck it, we'll just imagine where I'm standing right now is some form of target, whether it's a sandbag bunker or whatever, let's say it's Taylor's mom. Now, in theory, what we'd do is we'd have the section in the tree line just to the back of us there. Delta fire team would be suppressing fire, as we've just seen, um, with a uh, good suppression rate of one round every three seconds, or two to three seconds, depending on the situation. While the Charlie fire team would flank either left or right, depending on the terrain, the cover available, and where the fire is coming from as well. Now, what would happen? If we were to do a left flanking assault, with uh, Charlie being on the left as always, Charlie would basically push around the left flank, using as much cover as, the, as, uh, as possible to their advantage. They would push out from the section roughly 20 to 30 meters away from us, which would be the Delta Fire team, and they'd basically hook left. What they'd be doing is they move, will be moving to cover around the left side of the section, moving parallel to the section away, so you imagine like a 90 degree angle, so uh, think like an L shape. Once within range of the uh, enemy target, they'd close with that, they'd set up their LMG gunner and their second to last man, so they've got two people laying down a base of fire on the target, while the other two people, which is predominantly the point man and section commander, it may change, it may vary, but uh, typically it's those two, move in with uh, small arms, they'll toss grenades in, so they'll hit the area, frag it first, um, and then they'll move in on foot, sweeping and clearing with uh, either a mix of rapid fire or fire such as this. 
so it's a bit of a trigger work there. But what they're effectively doing is, while Delta Fire Team is suppressing the area, once those frags have been called, the radio goes off, um, section shift fire right or shift fire left, depending on uh, which direction the um, assaulting fire team has gone in. Um, the Delta fire team will shift fire, so they're moving their fire away from the target to basically close off any uh, direction of egress from the enemy, so they can't actually leave the area. Um, it's effectively been pinned down. The assaulting fire team then moves in from the flank um, after the grenades have gone off, sweeping and clearing the area, basically fucking up anything that's still alive left inside it. Once the area is clear, um, ceasefire is called. The uh, assaulting fire team then egress from the area using what we call proven route, which is basically the route of travel that we know is clear because tripwires haven't gone off, um, IEDs haven't gone off, anything like that. The area is nice and clear. Um, so think of it like as a path through a landmine. Um, like a field of landmines or something like that. Um, so that is the uh, the proven route that they know is safe. They'll retreat th well, from that uh, from that line back to the two people they've set up, and the other uh, fire team will then rejoin the section, and then it'll be uh, off to a reorg. Any questions on that? I want to quickly add, make it very to sum it up slightly. You'll have two fire teams on senior section. In an assault, one fire team will be as dead extended line suppressing. The other fire team, it will be called, will be assaulting. Basically, as you said, the assault works in a flanking motion. You kind of run around, hit a 90 degree angle and then run past parallel, like an L shape. Basically what you'll do is you'll try and get to the most safest flank. Say for example, the contact was where I am now. Yep. And let's say that you guys are in extended line at the edge of the woods directly behind you. So a bit of distance away. We'll do that in a minute. You're gonna see basically you're gonna predict what the IC is gonna do. So he's gonna go, right, let's have a look to my left. What cover is there? There's grass. That's not a good cover. What's actually what cover is there to my right? There's a fuck ton of trees and solid cover and foliage. It's very good. So you're gonna basically expect the uh, assault to happen in one in uh, one way. That is gonna be Charlie Fire team going to assault, uh, wrong, Chai Fire Team are going to suppress because they're here, Delta Fire Team will peel around their back and then move off to this cover in this sort of motion, you're going to watch me quickly, moving out, thinking shit, now from here, about here if you can see me, just behind this big red tree, I'll set up my other two dudes at another angle so there's a bit more suppression, then I'll push on forward, And me and some other dude would come along from here and cause all sorts of shit. That's the basic movement of it, and it's very, very simple. It can be very, very long salts. So it can be very, like, it can be over about 200 meters sometimes. Sometimes it can be over, like, this distance, about 100 meters. Very simple illustration on the map. Yeah. Also, quick one. Oh, I want to test. Fucking. So, yeah. So, basically, what happens then is, uh, Whilst that's happening, that's the basic movement of it, and that's what you should expect. There'll be a secondary base of fire, and then there'll be an assaulting team. What always happens when they assault is, basically, the supporting team will be suppressing, you guys will be suppressing. The direction that they went in, so in that example, I was to your right, was I not? If you're facing the enemy, that's to your right. Can you answer that, Ellis? On it. Hello, sir. So, yeah. Wrong radio. Okay. Um, yeah, so basically what happens there is, you know that I've moved right. Okay, everyone see what I mean by right? I went literally to your right hand side when you are facing the enemy, over this way. Zero Alpha, one three Delta. What that means Delta. is you should know that I'm going to come be approaching the enemy from, yet again, the right. So what you'll expect is A, a call on short range radio, Boss calling, um, give us 10 to 15 mics copy. just so we can get uh, this, this Zero count, Alpha, one three Delta, be advised, call. 10 to 15 yep. mics, so copy over. And so basically, what happens then is, yep, I come in from the right-hand side, my, or the assault comes in from your right. So what happens is, on short-range radio, you'll hear something like this. Section, shift by left, shift by left. It'll be a lot more panicked, it'll just be stuff like... Shift by left, shift by left, now. And then what you'll hear Zero is the of the grenade, Delta, at some point after it. Uh, what you'd be doing is, say that big open patch of ground between the two trees was the enemy. All of you guys think, shit, shift by left, that means the enemy, our friendies are coming from the right, let's not shoot them. Let's shoot that little bush in the opening, that's about a quarter left, 
and suppress that area. What that does is A, noise and stuff scares the enemy. Well, realistically, it would scare the enemy. Also, anyone that tries to push away from us, run into the opening to your left or flank you, they're going to die. The people that have been supporting, though, they've got to be very careful. They've got to push left even further because, obviously, they're at a different angle and not shoot their own team. It's very simple, very, very simple stuff. Yet again, sounds harder than it is. Then assault goes in, clear it out. We come back exactly the way it proven route. I pick up the guys that are with me there. They come back in, fall back in extended line, wander off, laughing because we just killed a bunch of an enemy section with ease. Yet again, if I went to your left-hand side, I would call shift fire right, shift fire right. You'd just shift fire quarter to half right away from the target. Very simple stuff, but um, can obviously be very easy to get wrong in situations where the enemy are firing back. You're a bit worried because they're getting accurate rounds down on you. And you think that you assault might not be fast enough. These sort of things will happen. Any questions? Nope, good. Okay, everyone follow me. Section contact, center of arc, direction of travel, road between three big trees, enemy bunker, these three platoons worth of enemy on bunker. How copy? I want to see, I want to hit people shank. Scene, show that. Wait, scene. Copy that, okay. What's going to happen next is we're going to go through it live fire straight off the bat, because everyone seems to be okay with it. What we're going to do is have everyone suppressing fire in a minute, and then what's going to happen is, Delta, you're going to hold position, Charlie, we're going to move in. And we're going to go assault that building. I'm going to set up two people, that'll be Cage and Kowalski, because Morris is gone. You're going to set up as the secondary base of fire. And then I'll, me and Hope are going to go in and kill everything. And I want to see Ellis, I want you to stop firing and make sure everyone's shifting fire properly. And I'll be designating the grenade with a smoke grenade. I'll copy. Copy that. I know it's gonna, uh, see. Section, halt, section down, section. Contact, direction of travel, middle of road, between three trees, platoon of enemy. Suppressive fire, go. Delta, suppressing fire, Charlie, prepare to assault. Peeling from left to right. Charlie, move. Passing. 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 Secondary base to fire on this position. In this position. Hope it's move. Friendly smashing. Fall in, fall in, let's go. Friendly smashing. Uh, friendly, uh, friendly units over in that area. What you okay, want to do in, guys, is you want to be basically closing the envelope. 